hello and welcome to my youtube channel chemvis in this video we are going to discuss barton reaction there are three segments in this video general introduction mechanism of barton reaction and examples based on barton reaction let's start with the general introduction in a barton reaction an alkyl nitrite with delta hydrogen under photochemical condition gets converted to delta nitroso alcohol which tautomerizes to corresponding oxime mechanism of barton reaction alkyl nitrite under photochemical condition undergoes homolytic cleavage of nitrogen oxygen bond to produce alkoxy radical and no radical alkoxy radical after delta hydrogen abstraction produces alcohol with radical at delta carbon the two radicals now combine together to produce delta nitroso alcohol which then tautomerizes to corresponding oxime now we will discuss examples based on barton reaction let's first have compound 1 as a starting material for barton reaction if you look at the structure there are three delta carbons with hydrogen one thing which is to be noted here is that in barton reaction out of several available delta hydrogens only those which are close in space to the nitrite group get abstracted so in compound 1 this delta hydrogen which is closer in space to the nitrite will get abstracted and we will get this oxime as the product example 2 in this molecule there are four delta carbons with hydrogen but only this delta hydrogen which is close in space to the nitrite group will be abstracted therefore we will get this oxime as the product example 3 there are five delta carbons with hydrogen but this delta hydrogen is closest in space to nitrite so this will be abstracted to produce this oxime example 4 This molecule also has four delta carbons with hydrogen. In this structure it is difficult to find which delta hydrogen is closest in space to nitrite. It will be clear if we convert this structure into a stable chair form. Now we can see that the delta car delta hydrogen of isopropyl CH3 is closest so compound 4 after barton reaction will be converted into this oxime let's have another example in which we have to find the structure of product when compound 5 is treated with nitrosyl chloride and the product formed is allowed to undergo photolysis in toluene at 0 degree centigrade compound 5 reacts with nitrosyl chloride to produce corresponding nitrite in this nitrite compound there are five delta carbons with hydrogen but this hydrogen shown in blue which is closest to the nitrite in space will be abstracted so after photolysis the nitrite compound will be converted to this oxime coming to the next problem in which we have to predict the structure of major and minor products a and b when compound 6 which is corticosterone acetate is treated with nitrosyl chloride and the product formed undergoes photolysis in toluene at 32 degree centigrade compound 6 after reaction with nitrosyl chloride gives this nitrite which has two delta carbons with hydrogen closer in space with 
nitrite group. These two methyl carbons are labeled as C18 and C19. Photolysis of nitrite and abstraction of proton from C18 methyl group gives NO radical and C18 alkyl radical. Combination of these two radicals followed by tautomerization gives A as the major product. Similarly, photolysis of nitrite and abstraction of proton from C19 methyl group gives NO radical and C19 alkyl radical. This radical adds to the conjugated alkene to produce cyclopropyl ring and radical at the carbon alpha to the carbonyl group. Now combination of this radical with NO radical followed by tautomerization gives minor product B. Example number 7. In this example we have to predict the structure of product when compound 7 is treated with nitrosyl chloride in pyridine and the resulted product undergoes photolysis in benzene in the presence of 80 mole equivalence of a cryonitrile. Reaction of compound 7 with nitrosyl chloride gives this nitrite compound which after photolysis gives alkyl radical and NO radical. This alkyl radical adds to the acrylonitrile to produce another alkyl radical. Now combination of this alkyl radical and NO radical produces nitroso alcohol which tautomerizes to produce corresponding oxime. Now let's predict the structure of product when compound 8 which is prednisolone 21 acetate is allowed to react with nitrosyl chloride in pyridine and the product formed undergoes photolysis in the presence of iodine in benzene. Compound 8 reacts with nitrosyl chloride to produce this nitrite. Here we should note that in this reaction the less hindered secondary alcohol preferably involved in the reaction. Photolysis of this nitrite produces alkyl radical and NO radical. The alkyl radical reacts with more reactive iodo radical to produce this iodo compound. Now let's find the structure of final product formed from compound 9 after 3 given reaction sequences. Reaction of compound 9 with nitrosyl chloride gives corresponding nitrite. This is the delta carbon with hydrogen. Photolysis of nitrite followed by delta hydrogen abstraction gives this alkyl radical and NO radical. These two radicals combine together to produce nitroso alcohol which after tautomerization gives oxime. In the presence of H2SO4, the oxime undergoes Beckman rearrangement to produce this lacrim. Let's have one more similar example in which we have to find the structure of final product formed from compound 10 after three given reaction sequences. Reaction of compound 10 with nitrosyl chloride gives corresponding nitrite. This is the delta carbon with hydrogen closer in space to the nitrite. Photolysis of nitrite followed by delta hydrogen abstraction gives this alkyl radical and NO radical. These two radicals combine together to produce nitroso alcohol which after tautomerization gives oxime. In the presence of tosyl chloride in pyridine the OH of oxime gets tosylated to produce this tosylated product which after heating undergoes Beckman rearrangement to produce this lactam. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.